Okay, next topic is discrete random variables. So discrete, meaning that they have distinct values, it's not continuous. There's no half measures, it either is that thing or it isn't, it takes that value or it doesn't. So for example, we can have the score rolled on a ordinary dice. So we need to set up some notation for this first. We write a capital X, uppercase X, for the score on the die, and a lowercase x for a particular value that it can take. So it looks like this is a table. So we have those particular values that it could be, so we're writing the lowercase x could be any of the values from 1 to 6. Then we would write this on the bottom. So the probability that capital X equals lowercase x, so that's the probability that our, our random variable that we've named as x can take this particular value. So in the first space we would write the probability that it could take 1, the probability that x equals 1. That of course is a sixth, and it's going to be the same for all of them. This here is called a probability distribution table. And you can read things off of it, and we would write things down like the probability that x is 2, like this. So the probability that our capital letter x is that particular value of 2 is a sixth. And we also know that those probabilities have to add up to 1. Okay, so second example. A bag contains two red and three blue marbles. Two of them are selected at random without replacement, and the number of blue marbles, x, is counted. Find the probability distribution of x. So, let's set ourselves up a table. And our values of x, so how many blue marbles could we get? We could either get none, one, or two. And we need to work out the probability of each of those happening. So first of all, let's think about the probability that x is 0. So that's the probability that we, that we get no blue marbles. That would be to get a red and a red, so it would look like this. We can put that 1 tenth in there. Next one, I'm going to do the probability that x equals 2, because that's the next easiest one to do. Remember, you're trying to look for faster ways to do your answers. Don't just go through from you know left to right. Pick for the ones that are going to be the fastest. So the probability that x equals 2 means that we get a blue and a blue, and that looks like this. So we can put that into our table. Now for our last value, we know that they have to add up to 1, so we can just straight away write in 6 tenths in there, which you could simplify to 3 fifths, but it's fine to leave it as 6 tenths. So we know that they have to add up to 1, which is why I did the 0 and the 2 first, because they're easiest. If you want to do a quick check, we can do that. So the probability of getting just one blue marble would be either to pick a red then a blue or to pick a blue then a red. And that comes to three fifths which of course is the same as six tenths. Okay, another way that we could be asked this sort of um, topic is that in this following way. So the table below gives the probability distribution of a random variable y, and they can use any letter they like. Um, find firstly the value of c, then the probability that y is less than or equal to 3, and finally the probability that y is greater than 3. So we've got this table underneath. So for the first one, we want the probability, oh, sorry, the value of c. We know that all of those probabilities have to add up to 1. So that means 8c equals 1, so c is 1 eighth. Second one, the probability that y is less than or equal to 3, well that could be either a 1, a 2, or a 3. So we need to add up those values there. So that would be 5 eighths. And the last one, the probability that y is greater than 3, that would be 4 and 5, not including 3, strictly greater than 3. So that would be 2c plus c, which gives us 3 eighths. Or we could think about it as 1 minus our answer to part b. You might also be asked to talk about or understand a probability function. So if we were displaying this, this here is a probability distribution table. If we wanted to write it as a probability fr function, it would look like this. 
So we're told that it's C for all values of um, x where x is 1 and 5, and any value of x between 2 and 4 gives us an answer of 2C. So it's just an alternative way of writing the information in that table, but using function um, notation instead.